Mansfield Cable Access presents Mansfield High School Basketball. Today, the Mansfield High School girls take on the North Attleboro Red Rocketeers in a non-league game, and it's Sunday afternoon matinee, matinee basketball. I'm Mark Farron. I'll bring you the play-by-play -play today. My broadcast partner is a two-time Hockamock League All-Star, former head coach of the Mansfield girls and longtime head coach of the Severian Brothers Hawks, Alex Salaki. Alex, uh, welcome to Mansfield Cable Access today. Thanks, Mark. It's great to be here in the, uh, in the Albertini Gymnasium to watch a little high school basketball uh, and, and call the game with you. I haven't seen either team play this year, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they show. Well, we are here, and uh, while the Mansfield Hornets enter the game, at 6 and 12 and 6 and 11 in terms of tournament qualification they cannot qualify for the tournament unfortunately but they would like to have a say in who does north attleboro comes in needing one win the starting lineups today for the mansfield hornets number one kelly doherty number 12 ashley santos number 15 becca hodelman number 23 kayla vine and number 33 brooke baraby and the north attleboro red rocketeers control the opening tap summer doherty is one of the starters along with Olivia Forbes, number 10, Amanda Kaiser, number 13, Reagan, Reagan, Regan Fine, sorry, number 23, and Elizabeth, uh, Eliza Dion, number 31. I'll get these out, folks. This is the first time I've seen the Red Rocketeers this year, this year also, but I've heard good things about them, and they are a, a rapidly improving team as well as the Hornets were over the course of the second half of the season. All right, Becca Hottleman will have the ball at the top and she will start the Hornet offense. That is Kelly Doherty. North showed a 2-2-1 full court zone back into a man-to-man -man in the half court. Barabee underneath hits the bottom of, of the backboard, gets, caught, it gets a foul. And I believe that's on number 23, I think. That's on Regan Fine. Nope, that is on number 10, Olivia Forbes and the Hornets will have the ball out of bounds. Doherty with the shot, no good. And the rebound is by North Attleboro's Regan Fine. That is a three point attempt by Amanda Kaiser and she is the big weapon for the Red Rocketeers. But the Hornets have the ball, Kayla Vine looks underneath Ball is taken away by Fine. Mark, it looks like Mansfield might be showing a box and one here. Let's see what happens uh, after they, Kaiser gives the ball up. Yeah, you know, okay. So who would they be? They would be masking Kaiser, I would assume, because she is their biggest threat. Uh, yep, yeah, number 23 uh, for Mansfield, Kayla Vine is. And a steal underneath and a score by Kaiser. So it, Kaiser draws first blood in this contest. And it is 6.30 left. North Attleboro leads 2 to nothing. Now a 1-2-2 two, two zone press by North Attleboro. Back into man defense. Ashley Santos in the corner gets it back out to Doherty. Now to Hottleman. Hottleman to Kayla Vine. Santos at the top of the key. And she gets the three-pointer. And she has been red hot lately. Ashley Santos has really hiked her average up a little bit now. She is averaging over 10 points a game. Yeah. And had a 21 point game in her last outing against Oliver Ames. Vine is shadowing uh, uh, And Kirby with the steal. Knocks it over now to Hottleman. Hottleman's knocked down. That will be on Fine. And that will be her first foul and the second on North Attleboro. No fouls for the Hornets yet. 546 left to go and the Hornets are leading three to two. Nice day for a basketball game. A fairly good crowd here at the Albertini. Well, there's no football on anymore, so this is a good time to go see some high school basketball. I thought that other football league has started up. Yeah, who cares it? about them? <laughs> and Doherty driving, and well, she gets hammered on the way in, so she will go to the foul line. The foul is on number 13. That's Amanda Kaiser. And that's the third foul on the Red Rocketeers. Kelly Doherty with the first shot. And I will be trying to say the first name of each Doherty today so there will be no confusion. 
That is Kelly. North Attleboro has Summer Doherty. 5-2 to two Hornets. 5.35 left. Hornets still in the box and one. Olivia Forbes, senior guard. Gives it off inside. Kind of a Euro step and she gets it by Eli Eliza Dion. Eliza Dion. Basket's good. The foul is on Brooke Barraby. That is her first and the first on the Hornets. So Dion will go to the line looking to tie the game. And she does not. Rebound by Ashley Santos. And here come the Hornets. Nice rebounding position Ball by Santos. Is out of the reach of Kayla Vine goes out of bounds. I thought it might have I thought it might have bounced off of the Red Rocketeer, but we're a little screened in that view. So 5.15 left to go in the first quarter, and it's 5-4 to four Hornets. North Attleboro brings the ball up. New uniforms for the Red Rocketeers this year. I kind of like their old ones. They used to have North and Script on front, but foul underneath the basket. That's two times in a row, Mark, that uh, it looks like there's been a travel in there before the foul has been called. And that will be the first foul on Michaela Vine. And the second on the Hornets in general. And Dion will go to the foul line again. She'll get two. Gets the first. And it's a tie game. What North is doing to offset this box in one is they're looking right into the foul line area, which is wide open. And the second one for Dion. So North Attleboro takes a 6-5 to five lead. Be interesting to see if they can stop Kaiser from the three-point shot. That is really her bread and butter and has been for two years now. And what I like about Kaiser is that she's always ready to shoot. When, when the ball is to her, she doesn't waste any time getting the shot off. I had a little debate about that with a former broadcast partner of mine, but I think I won out in the end. <laughs> A uh, double dribble is called on Kaiser underneath on the rebounding attempt of that uh, air ball, and so the Hornets will have the ball, Hal. Vine back to Hodelman. Hodelman back to Vine, Ooh. but a little bit too far ahead of yeah. her, so the Hornets are uh, maybe a little, uh, have to be a little bit more careful with those passes. Yeah, it was a nice idea going middle sideline and then probably back to the middle, but the pass was a, went astray. Mike Redding in his 22nd year as the head coach, 307 wins, 200 losses. They're going to go try to go inside, but the, again, the pass is a little too high, and Hodelman comes away with it, and Hodelman is bumped along the sideline by Summer Doherty. Uh, will they call, is it a foul or not? It is a foul on Summer Doherty, and has four fouls on the Red Rocketeers. So they keep on this pace. The uh, Hornets may get to shoot a little bit now. Now here comes a newcomer into the game, Taylor McMath, number 15, Nikki uh, Correa. The head coach of the Red Rocketeers told me that she's been up uh, with the varsity for about three weeks. I believe she's a freshman. Their roster didn't give us any uh, <laughs> any uh, heights, weights, years, <laughs> anything like that. And a three-pointer by Ashley Santos. That's her second of the game. Nice, a very nice step-back move by Santos. I see the step-back shot a lot, mostly in Foxborough. That is the... Best shot that is in the league, I think, on that is by uh, uh, Caitlin Mollick of Foxborough. But uh, it works. Now, oh, Vine having trouble getting the ball across. Of course, there is no 10-second violation. But some quick pressure by the Red Rocketeers forces a turnover. And with 3.50 left to go in the first quarter, and the Hornets in an 8-6 lead, North Attleboro gets the ball back. Yeah, North went to another gear in their pressure there. The pressure has been soft up until that point. Amanda Kaiser takes the three-point shot. Off the back of the rim, rebounded by Sarah Dooling. Hornets are now, yeah, and the passes, passes are not being, uh, they're being defended well by the Red Rocketeers in that pressure. But here comes Kayla Vine underneath to Brooke Barraby, and Barraby has the basket. The key to breaking that type of press is go sideline, middle, sideline, and that's what they did then. And by the way, while I have the chance, Alex, my broadcast partner here, as I uh, see that uh, uh, Wager gets the rebound, comes back up, and Barraby is, has the shot blocked, 
Alex knows the Barrowby family, and so he's corrected a mistake I've been making all year in pronouncing your name. <laughs> so it's Brooke Barrowby, folks, and I apologize for every time I said it was something else. Brooke Barrowby, number 33. She's grabbed a couple of rebounds here so far in, uh, in uh, action coming off the bench. Hornets have to get the ball inbound now. They'll go deep to Abby Wager. Wager gets a little bump here and there, but she's going to take the double step. <laughs> gets the rebound of her own missed shot, though. Dishes it back out to Dueling, but she has it stripped away. That's Forbes on the drive. Forbes misses the lay-in, and the ball goes out of bounds off of Dueling. And the Hornets uh, surrender possession here to North Attleboro, which I thought looked there was a little question whether it might it, whether it went off of her, but we'll find that's moot right now. 2.46 left to go, 10 to 6 Hornets. Another steal by the Red Rocketeers. That's fine, goes in, scores, and Mike Redding will call a timeout over on the Hornet sideline. So 2.38 left to go, Mansfield is leading 10 to 8, but the press, Alex, has definitely uh, caused a few problems for them in the last couple of uh, possessions. Yep, they're, uh, they're, they're uh, telegraphing their passes right now. And that situation right there, the girl defending the middle saw the pass come and was able to jump in front and tip it away. The uh, Hornets, as I said, unfortunately they've lost two in a row to fall out of tournament uh, qualification possibilities. But uh, one of their losses was noteworthy in that the uh, game on uh, Friday night at Oliver Ames, 72-49 uh, loss to the Tigers, was the 700th career victory by veteran Oliver Ames coach Laney Clement Holbrook in her 44th year in Northeastern. And I will tell you one thing, nobody deserves accolades more than Laney Clement Holbrook. So <laughs> Ten of those wins were at my expense. <laughs> uh, it, That's right. In five years that I coached the MHS girls, we played OA ten times and lost to them all ten times. Yep. Yeah, they've had <laughs> quite the program there for quite a long time. Yeah. And, and let's face it, Oliver Ames, if you think back to what basketball means in the Hockamock League, Yes, other teams have come up and risen up over the years, but Oliver Ames has had a, a foundation role in making the Hockamock League a basketball league. Yep, that goes right back to Val Moscato. Indeed it does. Abby Wager tries to turn around, gets it back out to Vine. Vine's going to try for the layup, and she's going to draw the foul even though... I got one guy calling well, it an offensive foul. It is foul, an offensive yeah. foul on... On Kayla Vine, that's her second foul. And of uh, the three fouls that the Hornets have, Kayla Vine's a little trouble. And we're going to see um, uh, Allie Prentice come in in just a minute, and uh, Hoddleman will come back in in a second as well. So Mansfield's in a straight 2 3 zone. Now. Forbes takes the shot from outside, no good. Rebound is far four, goes out of bounds off of. McMath and North, uh, no, I'm sorry, it was not off, uh, it was off of uh, Dueling, I believe, and it will be North Attleboro possession as the Hornet uh, subs come in. All right, ball is inbounded. Summer Doherty gets it over there. They're now running around the perimeter. Attempt to, uh, by uh, Siobhan Weir was blocked. Ooh, that was close to a travel two. So North Attleboro has the ball, 20 seconds on the shot clock, two minutes exactly on the game clock. And the inbound pass goes to Fine, back to Doherty, Summer Doherty. Siobhan Weir gets it back out to Forbes. Forbes drops it back to Fine. The fine shot is blocked by Wager. And Dueling has the rebound, and here come the Hornets. As long as they can control the ball, and they're having a little trouble with that, but... Becca Hottleman gets control of the ball, and here she comes. Brings it over to Dooling. Underneath to Wager. She's going to make the move, and almost it falls out. It was a nice move. It was a nice little yeah. hesitation move, but does not go. Here come the Red Rocketeers. Underneath. Ball comes back out to Doherty. Summer Doherty takes the shot at the foul line. No good. Rebounded attempt by McMath, and it's tied up, and it will go in the alternating possession to North Attleboro. 113 left to go in the first quarter of play. And the Hornets still lead 10 to 8. Into the game comes Ava McKeon. She's a freshman guard for North Attleboro. And Summer Doherty goes out. All right, McKeon takes the three immediately on the inbounds pass. No good. Rebounded by Dueling. 
Rebound is taken away, but they get, Hornets get it back. Here comes Hottleman. Hottleman dishes to Viking over on the corner. Now back out to Wager. She'll take the three and gets it. Good ball movement off the uh, rebound, getting the ball down court and finding the open shooter. Abby Wager, the Hornet freshman, gets a three. All right. North Attleboro looking for around, something around the perimeter. Shot by Weir is no good. Rebound by McMath. And it is knocked out of bounds by Wager, and then uh, North Attleboro will maintain possession. Uh, Kelly Doherty comes back into the ball game for the Hornets, replacing Wager. Wager showed some nice things there in her short she, stint. She's going to be a nice talent, Alex. I've, I've watched a lot of her games this year, and uh, once she gets a little bit more control over her body and uh, you know becomes a little bit more mature, uh, she is going to be a talent. She has skills. Foul is called on number one, Doherty, I believe. Yep, that's her and first. And the fourth team foul on the Hornets. So the team fouls are now even at 4-4. 33.7 seconds left to go in this first quarter. North Attleboro inbounds. McKeon closely guarded. And a steal by Hottleman. Hottleman will go into the basket. She's got two kids converging on her. Does not get it, but the rebound by Prentice does not go. But... And uh, let's see what happened there. Uh, I think he's calling it out of bounds, uh, uh, Red. Off of North Attleboro? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, it was a nice rebound, though, by Casey Viking, but obviously somebody from North had touched it while out of bounds. Dueling will take the about 17-footer, no good. And the rebound is by McKeon. Here comes North Attleboro. 14 seconds left to go. Forbes tries to get it inside. Ball is loose on the floor. Fine comes away with it. Seven seconds left. Fine dribbles. Back to McKeon, three seconds, two seconds, one stolen by Hottleman. They will not get the basket. Nice defense by the Mansfield Hornets in that last North Attleboro possession. Very aggressive defense, moving their hands, moving their feet. Nice work. So after the first quarter of play, the Mansfield Hornets may be playing for pride, but they've got a lot of it right now, and they are leading 13-8 to over the North Attleboro Red Rocketeers. Uh, Alex, uh, Certainly uh, one of the things that uh, we've mentioned a couple of times here, uh, you did some games with me here last year, and, uh, and you were one of the players that opened this court 50 years ago, so I guess we both will feel pretty old about that. <laughs> but uh, as Tommy Ferry and I have said many times during the year, this place looks great. They, they really does. kept it up well. It does. It looks so much better than it did back in our day. Yeah. But yeah. you know the funny thing is, and I, we've talked about this a little bit before, we moved over here from the Don Curvin gym next door, and the Curvin gym was only about 20, maybe 22 years old or so when we left it. But it, it looked dingy and old even then. And now you look at this place, 50 years old, the floor is still the original floor. Right. Which they're right. telling me that they're really going to try to get it replaced because it's getting a little bit too thin to, uh, to uh, resurface every now and then. But, you know, they, they got the new stands. They painted the place. Uh, new banners. I think they've done a wonderful job with this place, all to uh, honor the memory of, uh, of uh, Corporal James Albertini, Mansfield's only Vietnam casualty. Right. Come on, bro. right. I think a lot of gyms, Mark, that have brought in the, uh, the colored bleachers and the, the nice soft benches for, for the players, it's given a nice look to places. It, it absolutely and, does. And there are only four other gyms in the Hockamock League now that are open when, when we were in high school. Nice baseline drive by Brooke Baraby for two points. And the Hornets increase their lead to 15 to eight. And as I was mentioning, one of those gyms is not, uh, was not a Hockamock League school at the time. Fine shot does not go, rebound by Ashley Santos. Santos gets it back to Prentice for the three. Prentice gets the three-pointer. That's, that's, so, that time they broke the press by going right up the sideline and then to the middle. So the Hornets now have increased their lead to 10 points, 18-8. to eight. Great start to the second quarter. And they're doing a good job on defense. They're collapsing in on anybody. North is trying to penetrate, and immediately it will be surrounded by three players. A foul on that, however. And let's see who they call it against. Against uh, Baraby, that is her second. Right now, number one, Kelly Doherty has the job of shadowing, uh, shadowing uh, Kaiser. Eliza 
Dion is at the line, misses the first. Kaiser has only two points this game, and that was a lay-in underneath. So she has not been able to uncork the three-point shot. I think she has had one attempt that missed. And Dion gets the second. 18-9, to nine, Mansfield, 7.02 left to go in the first half. There's the middle right there, nice job. Prentice will make the penetration. Looked for Viking underneath. The ball went off of a Red Rocketeer. Will be Mansfield ball. 19 seconds on the shot clock. Rebecca Hodelman will inbound the ball. Looking, gets it off to Viking. Back to Hodelman. Hodelman takes it outside the circle. Mike Redding calling out signals on the sidelines. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Down to seven, six. Viking will have to dish it back out, and that'll be a walk on, uh, on uh, Prentice. A nice idea, but they were getting a little rushed there with the clock, and that's the kind of mistake that happens when you know that the, uh, the clock is ticking away. The Hornets come into this game having scored 881 points, 48.9 average. They've allowed 993, which is 55.2, and that average had been going down until the Oliver Ames game kind of bumped it back up a little bit. Summer Doherty for North Attleboro. Underneath to McMath, no good. And the rebound by Dion. Forbes will take a three-point attempt, that's long. Kaiser with the rebound gets it back out to Doherty. In the corner by McMath. Back out to Forbes. The drive by Dion and a foul. Mansfield still in the box and one, and fans might be wondering why is the middle wide open? In a box and one, it's a two, it's a two-two zone, so there's no one actually covering the middle in that zone, and North is doing a nice job of finding the openings. Ashley Santos committed that foul. Dion gets the first of two at the line. Abby Wager will come in for Prentice. So it's 18 to 10, North uh, Mansfield, rather, and uh, Dion wants to cut that a little bit and does. 18-11 with 5:59 left to go in the first half, and Dion has seven of the Red Rocketeers' points. All right, Doherty, a little oh, helpful yeah, push yeah, off yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> not uh, seen as egregious, I guess. It was uh, just a Ashley tiny Santos bit of with the three. That's off. Rebounded. By North Attleboro, the ball is up real quickly and taken away by Santos. Santos now looks for Hottelman. Hottelman will take it across. Manages to get the wager with the three after the nice pass by Viking, no good, but the rebound by Santos, no, and this time Dion gets the rebound for North Attleboro, and here come the Red Rocketeers. Open underneath is McMath, but she hesitated enough for the defense to come back. She gets her own rebound, and she scores on it. Strong work by McMath staying with the plague. 18 to 13 now. Mansfield's lead is down to five. And we have a bumping foul uh, on um, Summer Doherty. That will be her second foul. I believe if they. Maybe. It will, yes, it is. Yes. It is on Summer yep. Doherty. Abby Wager back in the ball game for the Hornets. Kayla Vine is in. Kayla McGrath. Oh, and the uh, ball goes across the court, but fortunately had not been touched. Underneath, oh. dueling, rebound, fought for, grabbed by... Nice, What nice a nice job. job by Casey Viking. Grabbed the ball out of the hands of a Red Rocketeer player and went right up with it for the two. Dion at the foul line, no good. And boy, they're just attacking. The Hornets will get a rebound, and the Red Rocketeers are really just tomahawk chopping at the ball, but, you know, there's no, nothing being called foul-wise because mostly they're getting ball, I would assume. That was a questionable call. It looked like a jump ball with two girls traveling from, our, from my vantage point. Well, Abby Wager will bring it across the timeline, gets it over to Viking, now to Vine. In the corner to Santos, she gets bumped on the way to the basket by McMath. So that will be 
the first foul of McMath. That is the sixth team foul on the Red Rocketeers. Both teams will be shooting one and one on the next fouls. 4.24 left to go in the first half. 20 to 13 Mansfield. Ashley Santos gives it off to Vine in the corner. Santos take a few steps in. Wager had the open three but decides to drive with it. Does not get it. Rebound slapped away from Viking. North Attleboro comes away with it. And here comes Grace Cole. And Grace Cole on the drive gets the basket. Down the Mansfield end, that was a great drive by Wager. And the fouls on, I'm sorry, fouls on Ashley Santos, though. That's her second. Mike Redding looking for an explanation of uh, something here. And I don't think he was. Uh, I don't think he was pleased with yeah, he some of the contact. It doesn't look like that explanation convinced him of anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Eliza, I mean, sorry, uh, Grace Cole will attempt and does not get the three-point play con con completed. Uh, dueling with the rebound gives it off to Wager. Wager over to Santos. The three does not go, and the rebound is by Amanda Kaiser. And I haven't had to say her name that much in this game, and that's a surprise. Santo, I mean, uh, Kaiser with the step back does not get it. And this time, Viking does get the rebound away from the Red Rocketeers. Here comes Vine, and it's taken away, and there's a foul. Foul is called on Olivia Forbes. And I thought, and she really looked like, I thought she had the ball, but yeah, obviously that, had a little uh, bit more, too. They're calling that a uh, shooting foul. So... That's her second foul on Forbes. Both teams now have seven, but Vine will go to the line for two and does not get the first. Kayla Vine so far not on the scoreboard, and that's a bit of a surprise. Kayla Vine is the Hornets' leading scorer, comes in here uh, averaging over 13 points a game, gets the second. Vine is averaging, I'm sorry, 12.9 points a game. Well, that's close enough. 21 to 15 on the scoreboard, Mansfield leading, and that's what counts. 3.36 left to go, and the clock is not running. There it goes. <laughs> Took about uh, four dribbles before the clock got going. That one, Kaiser with a little bit of a carry. Gets the three-point attempt, no good, and underneath the basket was Regan Fine, but she did not maintain control of the ball and went off, and Mansfield has it. She had an easy lay in there, too, if she had maintained control. Yep. All right, Becca Hottleman facing some defensive pressure. Gets up to Prentice now, quick over to Santos. Nice look. Santos uh. could not get enough on the pass to get it to Wager, and North Attleboro has it. But Hottleman knocks it away, and so North will have to take it out from the, from the uh, sideline. That's good defense, and that was an inadvertent kick. Ball did go out of bounds, though. 3.09 left to go. North Attleboro has the ball trailing by six. Shot by Fine does not go. Rebound fought for. Red Rocketeers try to save it out of bound. Nice hustle. It's Abby Wager shadowing Kaiser now. Yeah. Uh, third person who's done that job. That can be a very tiring job. So Coach Redding is uh, switching up on who's taking that responsibility. Nice hustle by Siobhan Weir on that uh, ball going out of bounds. But it is Mansfield's, and here they come. Becca Hottleman has a path underneath. Nice O to Santos, does not get the free shot. Dueling is fouled, got the rebound off the floor, tried to go up, and she is fouled, and the Red Rocketeer fans are not happy about that one. That was a superb, superb pass by Hardelman, Mark. Regan Fine hits her second foul, the eighth on the Red Rocketeers, and Sarah Dueling will go to the foul line for two shots. This first one off to the right. The Hornets uh, did have one game I saw this year against Attleboro. They had 20 for 22 at the foul line in that game. So hopefully Sarah Dooling channeled that and made that last one. 22 to 15. Kaiser tries to go in. Wager blocks the shot and it goes off of... Kaiser right. out of bounds for Mansfield ball. What a great job by Wager. She had two hands up, blocked the shot, hit Kaiser off the head, and went out of bounds. 
I'm going to enjoy watching uh, the development of Abby Wager as uh, the years go by here. She looks like she has skills that you, you just can't teach. Nice. And what a nice up. drive by Wager. Somebody who would know something about this kind of stuff, uh, Kathy Hill, pointed at the three th at the two one thousand point uh, banner and said she thinks she'll be up there at some point. Meanwhile, we have a walk against the Red Rocketeers, and Mance will have the ball back. Of course, uh, Kathy has plenty of thousand point uh, accolades of her own, but their daughter up is up there, Megan Hill, and it's always a good to see that. Doherty dumps it off. And Dueling is fouled underneath as he get, takes the drive. And that foul is on Amanda Kaiser. Kaiser's second foul. So now there are four Red Rocketeers with two fouls apiece. Dueling gets the first. See, the, the Hornets are taking it to the basket right now, and uh, it's getting them uh, at least the benefit of getting to the foul line. And when they pass the ball against this uh, full court zone press, they usually come up with something good. Dueling gets both. 26 to 15 Mansfield, 2.04 left to go in the first half. We talk about 1,000 point scores. Steal by Hottleman. Nice steal. Hottleman has nice a player to steal. beat and tries to draw the foul but didn't quite, couldn't sell it enough as uh, Kaiser ran by. I think they're just saying it's off Kaiser. All right, Hottleman will inbound under the basket. And out of bounds on the pass inbounds is Casey Viking. As I was saying, Alex, uh, we talk about 1,000-point scores. There's one over there on the Red Rocketeer bench. Nikki Correa, you may remember her as Nikki Lima. She was one of two players for Attleboro High School in 1994 that went over the 1,000-point plateau in the same season. The other was Rebecca Hart. Mark, you have an encyclopedic knowledge. Yeah, it's all, on, one, a it's all on my computer. <laughs> now, almost a steal by dueling. And that, that was tipped off of the North yeah. Adult player's hand. So the Red Rocketeers are uh, not really controlling the ball that well. They've been playing some very good defense, but they're not translating that to offense. Here is Rebecca Hottleman bringing it up. Now gives it off to Doherty, Kelly Doherty. Back to Hottleman. Hottleman in that kind of that dribble drive style. Oh, Wager what a, with a great move but does not yeah. finish the basket, but what a heck of a move that was. And I believe they're going to say that Nanceville touched the ball out of bounds, so it will go to North Attleboro with 111 left to go. 26 to 15, Mansfield yeah. in a, I would have to say, a surprising lead. That was an excellent crossover move by Wager. Well, Sunday afternoon basketball so far is agreeing with the Hornets. Red Rocketeers will bring it up now. That's Grace Cole with the ball. She has Colette Pettit in the back in the uh, back court with her. The shot by Fine does not go. Here comes the Hornets. Here comes Wager. Slowed down a little bit at the end of that, but a rebound by Hottleman, no good. A rebound by Dueling, and she's fouled. Dueling is fouled as she gets the second rebound for the Hornets in that. The foul will be on number 12, Grace Cole. So now with 10 team fouls, Sarah Dooling will get two shots. She would have anyway. Gets the first. She's four for five so far in this quarter for free throws. And drops in the second. 28 to 15, Mansfield up by 13 points with 47.3 seconds left to go. Here comes North. Cole gets it in the corner to Weir. Weir tries to get it back out. Ends up again back at the perimeter. Cole in the corner. The shot by Weir is no good. The rebound kept in bounds. Blocked by Wager. Mm -hmm. Shot, another shot by uh, Cole does not go, and now goes out of bounds off of a Hornet. 
And North Attleboro will have the ball back. Still, that was a tremendous defensive set by Mansfield. 15.7 seconds left. The shot clock is off. The inbound pass goes out to Fine from the corner. That would be weird. Does not get it. Abby Wager comes out of here with the ball. Six, five, four. This is off to Hottleman. No good. Rebound, fought for, and the Red Rocketeers control, but that is the end of the first half, and that was an outstanding first half for the Mansfield Hornets, Alex. The uh, Hornets leading 28 to 15. What are they doing right? The box and one is really throwing off North Ottawa. Tell me how many points Kaiser has. Kaiser has only that layup at the beginning of the game. Right. It's, that it, was it for her so far. Three different girls have covered her in the box and one. It's throwing off the North Attleboro offense. Their press is working okay every once in a while, but Mansfield's been fairly smart about breaking the press and getting good shots, and Mansfield is getting good shots over and over again. All right, so we will be back with the second half in a few minutes. Uh, again, the Mansfield Hornets are leading 28-15 to 15 over the Red Rocketeers, and we will be back. Welcome back to the James Albertini Memorial Gymnasium for Mansfield High School girls basketball today. The Hornet girls are in a great position in this game so far, leading North Attleboro 28 to 15 in this non-league game. Remember, the two teams are in different divisions of the Hockamock League now. They played their, their league game earlier in the season uh, on January 28th, and uh, the outcome of that was not to the Hornets' favor. They lost that one 75 to 58 when Amanda Kaiser had 20 points. But as I'm going to let you know in the scoring totals, uh, she only has two today. And that's a big difference in this game. I'm Mark Farinella with Alex Salaki and Maureen O'Neill on the camera. Here are the scoring totals from the first half. For Mansfield, Kelly Doherty has two points. Abby Wager has five. Ashley Santos has six. Kayla Vine has only one point on a free throw in the second quarter. And if the Hornets uh, normally would be in a position like that, they'd be in trouble, but not today. Allie Prentice has three. Brooke Baraby has four. Sarah Dooling has five, all at the foul line in the second quarter, and Casey Viking has two for 28 points. For the Red Rocketeers, Grace Cole has two. Amanda Kaiser, as I said, has two. She came in here averaging 14.1 a game and is sixth in the Hockamock League in scoring. Reagan, Regan Fine has two. Eliza Dion has seven, and most of hers, five of hers are at the foul line. And freshman Taylor McMath has two, and that brings you 15. The Hornets have scored 13 and 15 in the two quarters, and Kaiser has, I mean, uh, sorry, the Red Rocketeers have scored eight and seven. And Alex, uh, right now, always what we're seeing here is uh, North Attleboro being denied their best scoring weapon. And uh, it's, you, you mentioned it is a box and one that they're running. It's been successful, and it has not left other people open, although the middle of the lane has been open for them at times. So the key here now is to see if North Attleboro tries something different. Okay. Will North Attleboro try a different uh, defensive set? Will they try something different offensively against what Mansfield is doing? Because when you're down 13, you've got to see if you can surprise the other team with something you haven't shown yet. Well, you think they'd have the weapon that would get them back in this game in Kaiser. Kaiser's been hitting threes. I think she, since she was out of the cradle. But uh, the fact of the matter is, right now, she's not getting the opportunity to shoot them. And that is a huge problem for the Red Rocketeers. Whereas, as I said, the Hornets are surviving a one point by Kayla Vine. Kayla Vine has an average of 12.9. And uh, she has lit it up uh, a lot recently. So, But right now, the Hornets are getting great uh, scoring underneath the basket. And then they're getting to the foul line and converting on those, too. I'd say right now the performance of Wager is a key in this game for Mansfield. Abby Wager has yeah. been uh, a talent that is, uh, people are starting to take notice of. Becca Hottleman doing a great job controlling things as the point guard. Uh, Santos and uh, Berube doing a nice job on the boards. Uh, all around, a uh, great team effort so far. And, and they're still in the box and one. And here we are back in play. And right off the bat, we will, we will not have a tie-up because the ball's still loose. You know, I never saw a kid be on the floor that long and be able to get that. But a steal away by Forbes. She gets up with the ball. Summer Doherty has it, gives it to Fine for the basket. Fine gets the jumper. And North strikes first. And it's the press that has given Mansfield some fits in this game that created that. All right. 
Kelly Doherty trapped in the corner, gets the ball and knocks it off of a Red Rocketeer to maintain possession. She was in trouble. The Red Rocketeers immediately double teamed and they could get her in the corner and trap her like that. Right, they had her in the, in the right spot. And, and she did pretty much the only thing she could do. Carry by uh, Vine does not get uh, called, Vine does not get called, but she gets it back out to Doherty for the three. Nice launch by Doherty. <laughs> Quick Kelly release. Doherty. Kelly Doherty puts the first Mansfield basket through the twines. It is 31 to 17. Summer Doherty tries to counter, does not. Rebound is by Brooke Barabee, and Hottleman will bring it across. Hottleman with the high dribble. Has to be careful with those. Red Rocketeers are really hawking that dribble. And on the way in, she is fouled, and I believe that's going to be on, I want to say it's going to be on, uh, on uh, Kaiser. Let's see. It is on Kaiser, and that's her third, and that is trouble for the Red Rocketeers. Mark, one change I've seen in North Adderbo style in these first few minutes here is they're being much more aggressive attacking the basketball. Uh, that does seem apparent. They really are, they're really trying to harass the guards. Quick foul line jumper by Santos does not go. Forbes with the rebound, pushes it up real fast to Doherty for the long three, no good. Rebound by Dion underneath. I believe that was was that, that was uh, that was Kaiser. Kaiser. That was Kaiser underneath. Danny Kaiser. So that's only her second basket of the game. Kelly Doherty in the corner gets it out to Hottleman. Now to Vine in her shooting position. Vine almost gets the second bounce in, not does not, and it will go out of bounds, and it will be North Attleboro ball. 6:06 left to go in the third quarter. 31-19, Mansfield. Four to three so far, North Attleboro in this early stages of this quarter. Quick pass in is stolen away by Ashley Santos. Santos will bring the ball up. Stops, pulls it out, almost a walk. Vine will take the uh, little lay, lay in and gets it. Nice little uh, stop and jump and in. Yep, yep nice Kayla little Vine's, floater. Kayla Vine's first basket of the game. Three points for her in total. Jumper by Fine is no good. Rebound comes back out to Doherty, but the pass in is stolen by Santos. Santos gets it off to Doherty, and Doherty will bring it across. Doherty will beat her player to the basket and is fouled on the way in by the second player. That is by uh, Reagan, Fe Reagan Fine, I'm sorry, and that is her third foul, I believe, if they put that up on the board. Yes, they do. Right, North Attleboro's uh, more aggressive play here is uh, starting to get them into a little foul trouble. Now, this is a tough situation for the Red Rocketeers to be in, but they have other opportunities to make it to the tournament if they don't win this one. They are at King Philip on uh, Tuesday. They are home against Taunton. I'm sorry, that is the Mansfield schedule. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm reading you the wrong schedule there. Actually, the uh, Hornets, uh, the Red Rocketeers uh, are at home against Canton on Tuesday. Then they are at Foxborough, and that is not going to be a, an easy one for them. They finish up the regular season at home against Attleboro. <laughs> Doherty did get those two free throws, too. I don't want to leave her out of the uh, kudo that she deserves for that. All right, here comes Becca Hottleman. Looks like uh, Hottleman will make the drive. Rebound is by Forbes and then they dish it over to McMath. And now Forbes will bring the, the ball up. Tries to get it in immediately to find uh, Dion, rather. Yeah, she took an extra step as she was corralling that rebound. So Red Rocketeers will have the ball out on the sideline, practically in the corner. Quick in, a and a tra I would have thought it was a travel to begin with, to be honest, but Dion will go to the line, and she's been there well, quite a bit. Sarah Dooling, first first been, been more than once in the game, Mark, that that move has looked like a travel. Sarah Dooling's first foul, and Eliza Dion has seven points in this game. <laughs> Five for six at the foul line prior to that. Abby 
Allie Prentice and Abby Wager come in for the Hornets. And the second free throw is good. 35 to 20. Mansfield in the lead. I was uh, reading the wrong schedule before, but the Hornets are at King Phillip on Tuesday night. Then they have Taunton, and then the round ball classic next week. That's always a good take. Vine with the lay-in. Wide open middle, second time down, uh, take that middle. If you see it, take Next. it. Summer Doherty does not get the basket on the drive. Rebound is controlled by North Attleboro. Weir does not get it. Rebound again is controlled by North Attleboro by McMath. And there will be a foul, I believe, on Dueling, was it? Yes, it is, on Dueling. That's her second. We're about to third pass, that will send McMath to the foul line. Her first trip to the foul line today. Soft shot gets the first. Not a lot of knee bend on that, but hey, if it works, it works, right? Second one does not. And Abby Wager controls the rebound. It's 37 to 21, Mansfield. Wager in a little bit of trouble. Gets it off to Prentice. Oh, Prentice almost stepped over. She didn't bring the ball over with her, though. And that's why it's not a backcourt. The shot by doing an <laughs> oh, 18 and a half footer, let's just say, for Chris Clark's sake. Good, Sarah good patience by Mansfield, breaking the press. Shot does not go, and then uh, Prentice has the rebound. And she's bringing it up, pulls up. Good idea. To Vine. Open right now until they. A little over anxious. Yeah. Violation. Casey Viking had the opportunity, but she saw the opening, and it was like uh, it was like Christmas. <laughs> and unfortunately, she went right for it. But we're going to have a little debate here by the officials about something. I'm not sure what it is. Brooke Barraby just came back in the game, and Viking came out, I believe. All right, Red Rocketeers will have the ball. 3:38 left to go in the third quarter. 39-21, Mansfield. Still in the box and one here. Summer Doherty gets it into Kaiser. Two people on her immediately, and the ball goes out of bounds off a of Hornet. Now, that ball was forced into Kaiser there in a position yep. where two defenders were right there. And, and she really was not in a good position yeah. to shoot anyway. Yeah. Summer Doherty, ball is blocked by Sarah Dooling. Gets it up to Wager. Wager will go with the drive, and she's fouled on the way in by Doherty, I believe. Yes, it is. Summer Doherty with the foul. That is her third. So now there are three Rocketeers with three fouls apiece. Abby Wager goes to the line for the Hornets. Gets the first one. I like the Hornets' uh, team play. They, everybody's willing to give it up to a teammate when they're open instead of forcing something on well, their that's own. Been, that's been one of the most positive things about this team throughout the course of the year was that it really did develop as a team and uh, you know their play has been considerably better now unfortunately it's just one of those years where there's uh, some talented teams in the Hockamock League and uh, uh, it's, uh, they had to get new people into the lineup here this year 41-21 is the score right now Mansfield up by 20. Oh nice job by what? Wager. Wager get a little piece out of that three. Hottleman is, uh, surrenders the ball and it's going to be a double dribble called on McMath as she drives to the basket. Boy, Rebecca Hottleman's taking her lumps today. Now that they are really trying to attack the ball, and it was successful, it got the ball away from her. But She seems like she can withstand it pretty well. She's hanging in there. She's a tough kid. I really enjoyed watching her burst upon the scene last year. as a. She was basically the sixth man of the Hornets last year, first insertion in. Wager with the two-pointer, I believe. Wager has been a spark here in the second half, just as she was in the first half. 43-21, 2.38 left to go. Mansfield in a 12-point lead. I mean, sorry, 22-point lead. I, I'm, I imagine I'm probably a little surprised at That's why I didn't get it right. The shot by North Attleboro is wild by uh, Grace Cole. Hornets on the attack again. Wager 
Tries to get it across. It's stolen this area, but now Hodelman gets the shot up and in. <laughs> oh. Boy, Hodelman just got that ball and she just heaved it up and said, let's hope that's, for the best. That's the result of hustle right and there. And she got the basket. Cole, no good. Rebound will be a tie-up. 2.01 left in the third quarter. Oh, I love that basket by Hodelman. That was, that was terrific. Some stub substitutions now for the Hornets. Wager coming out. She did a fine job once again of sparking her team. Grace Benton will see some action. Number five for the Hornets. 201 left to go in the third quarter. All right. Kelly Doherty gives it off to Hodelman. Hodelman now will face some defensive pressure. Gets it back out. And it's slapped away and controlled by Grace Cole, and it will be a tie-up, and I believe North Attleboro has the ball on the possession, and yes, they do. 45-21, to 21, 150 left to go in the third quarter. Mansfield still up. North has not been able to put together offense, and their best weapon has not been able to get her shot, and that's the girl with the ball right now, and she will take the first shot, and Kaiser does not get the three, rebounded by Ashley Santos, and here come the Hornets again. Ashley Santos will have the ball from Hodelman, and she'll be fouled by Siobhan Weir. Ball will be on the sideline. I'm really surprised, Mark, that uh, North has a shown a little more variety in, in methods of trying to get Kaiser open. Hodelman <laughs> just waits for, waits for Forbes to back off. That was funny. The drive by Grace Benton, and she will be fouled on the way in. Red Rockets here coming up with 13 to begin. That is the fourth foul on Amanda Kaiser. So I'll tell you, that the, it, things are stacking up against the Red Rocketeers here right now that uh, if the Hornets can maintain their poise, they will be able to uh, come away with another exciting victory this year. First shot by Benton is no good. So that's four fouls on Kaiser, and she's yes, staying is. in the game. It looks like she might be coming out right now. Grace Benton gets the second free throw, and now it's a 25-point lead. Wow. <laughs> yep, Kaiser just came out. All right. Here comes Forbes. To Cole, back to Forbes. In the corner, that's Colette Pettit. But the Hornets have the ball. They tipped away by uh, Berube. All right, Hodelman will start the Hornet offense. A minute to go in this third quarter. Berube to Santos. Santos thinks about the three, now puts it down. Tries to drive against two Red Rocketeers and wants to get it in to Benton. Ball goes out of bounds off of Pettit. So North, uh, rather Mansfield will have the ball. 47.3 seconds left to go. 10 on the shot clock. The pass by Hodelman goes to Santos. She puts it up immediately for the three. Nice play. Again, a little, a little step back pop. Santos has found the range lately. She has nine points in this game. They're all threes. Shawan Weir is going to try to drive, but she will be... There's a foul called away from the ball. And that foul is on Santos, I believe. And that will be her third. Five team fouls against the Red Rocketeers. Three against the Hornets in the second half so far. Inbound pass goes to Forbes. Forbes will float it in. Try to get it to McMath, and there's a foul. That could be on Santos. Yep. It is on Santos, and that will be her fourth foul. Ashley Santos. So McMath will go back to the foul line for the second time in this game. Third shot attempt. Does not get it. 26.4 seconds left to go. And Sarah Dooling will come in for Ashley Santos. Taylor McMath. We have some good young talent coming up in this Rocketeer program. Gets the second. 49-22. Mansfield leading. Inside the last 25 seconds of the third quarter. 
Hottleman gets the ball back. Nice now patience. They get over. Very patient. Barabee gets it to Doherty in the corner to Dueling. Hottleman now suddenly with two people on her immediately. A tie up. A tie up. Forbes gets the ball up, and it will be Mansfield's ball on the possession arrow. 7.8 seconds left to go in the quarter. So Kelly Doherty will take it out from this near sideline. Looking. Gets it to Hottleman with seven seconds. She will fake. Gives it off to Doherty, but that ball is uh, off, and North Attleboro rebounds. End of the quarter. Three quarters are in the books here. Mansfield with an amazing 49-22 to 22 lead in this contest. Uh, Alex, uh, the Hornets uh, have yet to do wrong in this game. <laughs> right, they've taken the uh, North Attleboro leading scorer right out of the game. What does she have, six points, four points? Uh, and she's in foul trouble now, so she's been sitting for a few minutes. Uh, they've really stymied their offense by the use of the box and one. Meanwhile, Mansfield continues to play great team basketball, breaking the press with patience in most instances, and getting really good shots. Well, yeah, I hope they continue to do that because that was a one of their best quarters of the year right now. <clears throat> They outscored North Attleboro 21 to 7 in that quarter. And uh, I'll tell you, I, I'll be I, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised at the outcome right now, and I guess the person who's probably going to be even more surprised is Nikki Lima. They, uh, Nikki Korea, rather. They've had four straight wins over there in North Attleboro, and uh, it started with the 50, 71 to 58 win over the Hornets. But their last few games have been close. They beat Stoughton at their new gym. 49-48, and they beat Sharon by 10, 39-29. And I'm sure she uh, probably called off the dogs in the game against Milford. Uh, they beat Milford by 20, 52-32. to 32. Milford is having a struggling season, and coaches are usually taking it easy on them. So, uh, so But the, the Red Rocketeers really have not played as well as they've been playing since that first game against the Hornets, and that was their league game. Summer Doherty over on this side now tries to go inside. The layup by Dion does not, he doesn't even get off really, and here come the Hornets. Kayla Vine to Casey Viking, but the ball stole away, and they will call Viking for a foul. That'll be Casey Viking's first foul. Hornet foul number 44, Casey Viking, her first 15 foul. Alex, the only thing I would do to improve this court a little bit would be I would change the color inside the three-point circle. A lot of schools are doing that nowadays. But leave the key, the natural wood color? That yeah, would be nice. Here come the Hornets again. Vine stops and pops, gets it. Hornets. I'm, I'm a fan of the natural wood color and the key, Mark. All right. But I do like, I like what I'm seeing so far is a lot of these gyms, a lot of these floors now are making it a little bit different inside the three-point circle. It makes it easier to call, actually, I would think, yep. by the officials. Runner. Good position by number 44. By Who's that? Casey, Casey Viking. Viking. Vines, ru Vines runner did not go, and the Hornets have the ball. Michaela Vine gives it off to Abby Wager. Wager can't control the ball, but gets it back in the corner. Now she will get it back out to Vine with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Vine is going to try to penetrate. Ball slapped away from her, and here comes North. Olivia Forbes gets it in to Regan Fine for two. You know one thing I was always thinking, Alex, also? Any, any girl whose name is Liv should choose number 54 for her uniform because in Roman numerals, L-I-V is 54. <laughs> Thank you, NFL, for that one. All right. Allie Prentice. Has the ball and a foul away from the ball. No three second call? Three uh, second call yes, on the Hornets. Yep, yep. And a timeout will be called by the Hornets. So with 6.01 left to go in this contest, 51 24, Mansfield in the lead. Uh, a well timed timeout by Mike Redding and I was, because even though it is a, what, 27 point game, right? Uh, Mike sees something changing. He sees something changing, and he needs that to stop right now so that the 27-point lead won't suddenly maybe turn into a 15-point lead, and then anything can happen. 
So he wants to talk to his girls right now and try to get them settled down and uh, take some time off the clock, look for the good shot, and hopefully can maintain uh, the kind of lead they have right now. If the Hornets are able to maintain this kind of uh, pressure on the Red Rocketeers and, uh, and get a few more points, they could actually beat the distinction of uh, North Attleboro's worst loss of the year. Their worst loss came on January 24th to the uh, Davenport division champion Foxborough Warriors. Uh, that was a 28-point decision. Right now we're at 27 in this one. So, Red Rocketeers will have the ball. Here comes... The ball's loose. Summer Doherty gets it. And there will be a foul called out top, and that will be on number 14. Nicole Santos is in the ball game for the Hornets. We're on number 14, Nicole Santos. That's Ashley's little sister, and this is the first time she's been in the game today. And the runner by Dion is good. Nice left hand by Dion on that move. 51 26, 540 left to go in the contest. Fine. Gets it across to Viking. Now to Prentice. Prentice will take the three. Does not fall. Viking battles for the rebound. Now Prentice gets it. Over to Wager for the three. Bang! Wager gets the three. Gabby Wager. At 5'10", as a freshman, I wonder what Wager projects to be by the time she's a senior. Summer Doherty answers for North I know, Attleboro. That's I know you don't three. have the answer to that question, Mark. I'm just, I'm just rambling uh, rhetorically. You know, see, I should have gone to <laughs> Northwestern for a medical degree then. <laughs> and the ball is taken away from, Nash, uh, from uh, Nicole Santos. We'll go to North Attleboro. So those were Summer Doherty's first points in the game. Olivia Forbes has not scored, one of the starters. Amanda Kaiser has only four points. Uh, Nikki Curry is not getting a lot of production out of her starters today. Is Kaiser still in the game? Yep, she is. Uh, a couple so of sequences ago, they tried to get her off a screen, and uh, uh, the pass was tipped by somebody, and Mansfield ended up coming up with the ball. Seems to be some sort of issue that uh, with the book over there that uh, the official is talking to Teresa Nyhan who just recently was awarded the Distinguished Service, Distinguished Service Award from the MIA. And uh, Nikki Correa is, uh, I wonder if this is about timeouts or something. I, I just don't know. Anyway, my scorebook seems to be right, so I'm not worried about it. My next uh, Nor uh, Mansfield Cable Access game will be uh, on Tuesday night as the uh, King Philip boys continue their revival, at least they're hoping to, against the, the Kelly Rex division, I believe, champions, or at least, they're coaching, at least they've clinched a share of it by now. Uh, the Hornet boys will be here, and the King Phillip boys, who've had some really good games lately, uh, they'll be coming in. So that should be an outstanding contest. That's Tuesday night at 6.30, and, of course, we'll have that game on Mansfield Cable Access later in the week. And I have no idea what the debate is uh, over here, but... Mike Redding doesn't seem too concerned. He's just sort of strolling over right now. But uh, if there's anybody who keeps the book well, it's Teresa Nyhan. Uh, she is uh, she's probably the best uh, scorekeeper Mansfield High has had since me. <laughs> <laughs> and that was 50 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I think the table looked a little different back in those days. <laughs> uh, yes, it did. Yes, it did. <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody's standing around. It's 4.59 left to go, 54.31. I think have they given a basket to North Alberta here? I don't know. Now they're looking up uh, in the stands to Peter Gobis, not a uh, Sun Chronicle sports writer, Is he for, some, for some input from him. They just uh, Teresa just called up to him uh, and asked him a question, and now he's nodding his head about something. Three, five, seven. So it should be. It should be. I have twenty-eight. I don't know what the. No, actually, yes. No, uh, seventy-one. So it's three. Five sevens. I would have 28, and now they put 29 up. So somebody else must have a three-pointer among those two. D uh, Diane and Fine were uh, underneath, and Doherty was a uh, three-pointer. So I don't know where they got it. We'll have to ask at the end of the game. Anyway, the play is back underway. Summer Doherty has it. Summer Doherty will put up a shot. No good. Rebound bounces around is controlled by Brooke Barraby. Brooke Barraby, nice grab. And here comes Kelly Doherty now 
Gets it away from the double teaming. Gives it off to Hottleman. Hottleman will take the drive in. No good, but the rebound right there by Barabee. She does not get it. North Attleboro comes away with the rebound. Doherty is alone underneath, and Doherty is on her. So one of the Doherty scores. That was Summer Doherty on the basket. 54-31 is the score that they have on the scoreboard, and I'll accept that as because I have no choice to accept, but to accept <laughs> it. Sarah Dooling gets caught in the travel, and was that uh, that was uh, Regan? That was Regan Fine that uh, came in there, and it kind of disrupted her drive a little bit. Good job by her. There's no need right now for Mansfield to rush anything. You know, they, uh, they, they can take 20 seconds Well, Mike is clock. actually starting to get some people into the game now, too. That's Anna Darlington, number three, who will be in the backcourt for the Hornets. Doherty. They try to get, they get it out to the corner to Kaiser, and that's her first three-pointer of the game. And I expected to see about six more of those. And that mark was against us. That was against a straight 2-3 zone defense. There was no box and one then. She was wide open, could catch and shoot. And that is what she does well. And the ball is slapped out of bounds by Regan Fine. 54-34, Mansfield in a 20-point lead. 3.35 left to go in the game. Mansfield will inbound. Hoddleman will take it back out to the start the, to start the offense. Ooh. Now dueling to Barraby. Mansfield running the old-fashioned flex offense here, which is an offense you run to kill some time off the clock. And, and that's fine. Given that they don't really need it, that's a 30-second violation. And we'll go back over to North. 3.15 left to go. Olivia Forbes, veteran guard for the Red Rocketeers. Gets it off to Kaiser for the three, and Kaiser hits the three. So if you leave her open, she's going to score. Kaiser for three. That is the Amanda Kaiser I've seen for a couple of years. Well, that accentuates how, uh, how well the box and one uh, worked really did well. for Mansfield. Yep. Worked really well, and, and actually got her to the point where she really couldn't even set up for it, so she had to try to score other ways. She had two baskets in short range, two layups, prior to the hitting the two threes in this quarter. Now, see, if we had a post-game interview with Coach Redding, that would be, be a great question to ask him, you know? That's true, but we yeah. don't. <laughs> <laughs> Abby Wager gives it off to Vine. Vine will spin, tries to get out underneath, but Darlington will come away with it, and she'll start over with six seconds left to go, though. Five and a whistle. Timeout by Mike Redding to preserve the possession. Four seconds left to go when they come back to play. So it's 54-37. North Attleboro's cut a little bit off this lead, and there's still two minutes and 29 seconds left to go. Yep, Coach Redding is uh, is doing a nice job, I think, of getting his team to uh, to take some time off the clock, and I'm sure that's probably what he's talking about right now with them. You know, in the first game between these teams, uh, it was settled really basically in the first quarter. North Attleboro scored 30 points in the first quarter, and Mike Redding told me, that he believes that North Attleboro shot about 85% from the field in that first quarter. Obviously, the Red Rocketeers did not shoot that well in this game, and I uh, would have to say that the de defensive adjustments that, uh, that Mike Redding and, and his staff uh, decided to put into this game uh, had, uh, had quite a, a bit to say about the outcome. I'd like to know what defense Mansfield played in the first quarter of that game because I'm going to guess that they probably, no didn't, they probably <laughs> didn't play that defense probably not. at all tonight. Well, I have uh, North Attleboro for 15 points in this quarter so far to five for the Hornets. But, and there will be a steal underneath. And that is Reagan, Regan Fine that comes away with it and gives it off to Amanda Kaiser. Kaiser underneath the Fine. Fine with a little stop jumper and gets that. So the Red Rocketeers are showing uh, what they're capable of right now. Obviously against a uh, lessened uh, defensive effort by the Hornets. Abby Wager is going to take a little runner, does not fall, and the rebound is by Dion. Dion's going to come up with the ball, runs into a roadblock and gets it off to, 
to uh, Kaiser. Back out to Forbes. In the corner to Doherty. The running pass and a nice job by Reagan, Regan Fine. That's her third basket of the quarter. It's 54-41 with 138 left to go. Darlington gives it to Dooling, and she is fouled. Rebecca Hottleman's coming back in the game uh, to play point. Uh, Coach Redding uh, wants to see a little bit more, uh, more of a settled down approach to breaking this press that North Adabo is still throwing at the Hornets. That was Fine's fourth foul. That is five on the Red Rocketeers. Are they giving her a shooting foul on this? And no, they are not. I don't believe. Well, I guess they are. Again, there seems to be some indecision around here. I have, I have them in only five fouls. Uh, and I did not believe that was a shooting foul. So I it think it did uh, not look like a shooting foul. No. And so it will go. It will come out underneath. It's they will inbound the ball underneath the basket. Well, let's face it. Sunday afternoon, not everybody is on their game. I guess. The 30-second clock is it, it, not it running. Not, and the main clock. And they is, just blew the horn. Yeah. Main clock did and not start. And the main clock is still running. Well, they've got some, must have some rookies on everything over there today. Uh, yeah. You know, we can't always get the A team out on a Sunday, but we have the A team out here today. So, <laughs> all right, Tommy Ferry, don't be upset. You're, you're part of the A team as well. The A team, huh? <laughs> uh, Alex. The A team are doing a little jibber jabbering. <laughs> 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 all right, uh, so when they finally get things settled, um, it's 1.30 they have on the clock right now. Uh, Rebecca Hottelman will inbound the ball for the Hornets. Uh, I don't think there should be 23 seconds on the 30-second clock, though. At this stage of the game, uh, now they've evened off the fouls on the clock at 6-6. Six and six. And, uh, well, you know, I hate to see it whenever a game's not run well. But, all right, Mike Redding seems satisfied by what's going on here. 23 seconds on the shot clock, 1.30 on the game clock. Hodelman will inbound. Gets it out. Take your time. To Dooling, now back to Hodelman. Take your time. Hodelman to Barabee. Barabee will take a step move in. Dishes the ball back out. Vine with the step back, no good. Goes out of bounds. Off. Off red. Off of... Uh, Fine for North Attleboro and Hottleman will inbound again. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Looking for someone, gets it to Dooling. Dooling will make the move in and Fine with the foul, and that will be number five on her, unless they have another problem with the scorebook. And uh, let's see, yes, they do have five. And they will finally stop the play here, yes. Teresa Nyhan has her hand up. Folks, pay attention to her. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> uh, I think she's just waving to us. No, no, she's, no, <laughs> she's definitely five fouls. And uh, Nikki, Nikki Korea does not agree, but I have five for, fi for fine as well. well. But they only have four on the board here. I, something's not working out right today, and I, I'm just not going to complain about it anymore because I'm happy to be doing these games. <laughs> Well, while we have some time here, and I hate to single out uh, one particular girl, but uh, I think Abby Wager did such a great job today, and I noticed that she's a 5'10 freshman. She's got, she's got, looks like she has room to grow. Yes. Could she end up being 6'2 or so by the time she's a senior, 6'1 maybe? That's that player with that kind of length who has inside and outside skills. And she's not quite on the par yet, but she might be next year with a girl from Oliver Ames who is uh, by the name of Caroline Pepper, who has got a similar build. She's a little taller right now, a little stronger, and you can see the course that that might take. Uh, Dooling gets the first free throw here. And looking ahead uh, for next year for Mansfield, Santos and Berube, both strong rebounders, both juniors. Uh, free throws, by the way, by Dooling. Dooling and Vine, both solid perimeter players, both juniors. Kaiser misses the three-pointer. Hornets have the rebound. Look forward to, to seeing this team next year. Up to Abby Wager. Dishes it back out to Viking. Viking takes the turnaround, no good. Gets a rebound back, no good. Gets it again, and gets it. Casey Viking never gave up on that one. 
And a timeout called by the Hornets to get some substitutions in the game. So we will have some new people in the game here. Nice job by King on that one. And with 50 seconds left to go, Mansfield is leading 58 to 41. Here on Sunday afternoon basketball on Mansfield Cable Access. Good crowd here at the yeah. Albertini Gym. Well, you know, like I said, this is a you can't go wrong for what is it? They get you five for five bucks. I mean, that's that's not bad. It's a little bit more in the MIA tournament, obviously, but. I was starting to say earlier, Mark, when we were talking about gyms, I think when, when all gyms had the traditional uh, wooden bleachers, it was real hard to add color to that yeah. type of gym. You know, you had those, like, brownish, light brownish stain yeah. on those bleachers. But now you've got the molded right. plastic and all that. And also, well, they have to be a little bit more open, too, because of the uh, Americans yeah. with Disabilities Act. So you have to be able to have uh, arm, you know, you get uh, the... the, uh, the uh, handles here so you can climb up especially for old guys like me who have to hang on to these as I'm going up the steps then team started adding the nice comfortable folding chairs with the team colors yep. on them in fact they took out yeah. a row of bleachers here at the exactly. Albertini so they could move the, those back all right the Red Rocketeers are looking for a basket to close things out and it goes off of Taylor McMath the Mance will have the ball with 39.9 seconds left to go 58 41 Abby Wager as the ball gives it to Kelly Doherty. Kelly Doherty gets it across, has a little trouble, and she does step out of bounds while she tries to slap the ball away. It will be North Attleboro ball with 31.6 seconds left to go. Colette Pettit will give it to Grace Cole. Back to Pettit. To Cole. Cole thought about the three, now tries to force it up. And that will be Grace Benton's ball. Goes into the hands of Kelly Doherty inside the last 20 seconds. And they can basically just kill this quarter out if they would like. But instead, they're going to go to the basket. Well, and Nicole was, Santos That was a nice, nice job. Basket. Santos slipped right out of that pick to get the bounce pass. 3, 2, 1. And the last shot is no good. That is the ball game. Another great upset that we get a chance to see here on Mansfield Cable Access. The Mansfield Hornets defeat the North Attleboro Red Rocketeers 60-41. to North Attleboro now is 9-8, and and they will have to um, try to get their tournament qualifying win over Canton. Alex, uh, once again, we saw the Hornets play great defense early, and that set the tone for the whole ballgame. Right, and we saw some great performances by a bunch of players to offer up a, a total team concept for the Mansfield Hornet ladies tonight, or this afternoon, rather. So, for Alex Salaki, for Maureen O'Neill on the camera, this is Mark Farinella. Once again, the final score, Mansfield 60 and North Attleboro 41. A great job by the Hornets in this one. Uh, for everybody at Mansfield Cable Access, thanks for tuning us in, and good afternoon, everybody.